All praise is due to Allah. Who is Allah? Allah is all of us. But we have a supreme one that we confer this name holy upon. He is Allah, the one over all of us. Supreme one. The wisest one. The most mightiest one. The one that sees and hears that which we can't see and hear. That's him. He's greater than all of us. Though all of us is God, as the book teaches you. Every righteous person is a God. Every evil person is a God. We're all a God. When we say Allah, we mean every righteous Muslim on the planet. But still we take that name and confer it upon just one. He is one God among us who is over all of us, our Lord. Go ahead, dear Father, please. The Holy Quran teaches us that he is the wisest of them all. What them? It means this, though Allah has taught me, all the gods that ever was and is and ever will be. The Holy Quran also teaches me that he is a man. Go ahead, Not something that is other than man. The Holy Quran refers to him in such pronouns as he. Yes, sir. Go ahead, and as we. Yes, sir. <laughs> And as us, yes, sir. <laughs> only I, I want you to remember that I want you to get away from thinking God is a spook. Yes, sir. A spirit had a base to rise from. You say Allah is a spirit, that's one of his attributes, not himself. There's many spirits. Yes, sir. But when we say Allah is alone, something that we feel, then that's what you are giving to him. The name of feel. We can feel most anything because we are alive. Therefore, it's sensitive to a feel. It's one of our five senses. But what we want to learn is who is Allah? Yes, sir, dear Father. Come on. Yes, sir. What we want to learn, who is God? Yes, sir. Come on, dear Father. There is so many of us is ready to argue and dispute about the God. If you don't believe that he's a man, then bring me that one you represent. <laughs>